Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. It really is quite overwhelming in how majestic the Rockies are with, you know, the snow, the trees. Being the host of Postcards From, I often get people telling me how I have the best job in the world and I'm so lucky to be paid to travel. While that's true, there's a lot of things that happen while filming a travel series that people may not know. So today to give you all at home a bit of a behind the scenes kind of glance at what goes into making Postcards From, I'm joined by Postcards From's producer, Amit Tandon. Amit, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey Alex, thanks for having me. So first off, can you tell me what is scheduling an episode of Postcards From like? Well, the first thing is that each episode uh, involves essentially eight days straight of shooting at the location. So we like to do two activities per day. It's pretty packed in there, so it's a bit tricky, but, uh, but you know, you try to make it work and you try to think on your feet. But sometimes something might happen, say, on day two of your shoot that impacts the rest of, uh, of the shoot. What Amit slyly referring to is a fall I had en route to our ice climbing shoot. I injured my arm and elbow, but thankfully was still able to attempt my first ever ice climb with the help of our guide, James. While you're climbing, yep. most of the work is done with your feet. Okay. Right. So if you look at your crampons, yep. you're going to have two points in the front yep. that are painted orange on yours, yep. and then the second row of points. Right. And we want to be kicking those straight into the ice, okay. and then keeping your boot level so that you sure. have a nice flat platform to stand up on. Okay, well give it a try. Give that a go. Stick it in. Yep. Yeah. And you can kind of, yeah, claw your way along the low angle stuff with your ice tools. Yep. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. And I've got you on belay here. Okay. And away I go. Fortunately, I was able to do, I think, pretty much everything we had planned. But I do have to say the toughest and most painful uh, segment that we filmed during this trip had to be the cave tour because going down the cave was fine. You know, you can slide down and you're, you're strapped into certain ropes and pulleys and stuff like that. But trying to get your way out of the cave with a sprained elbow and a sprained wrist. There's only one way out. You gotta climb yourself out. I kind of feel like I'm Gollum, actually, when right. I'm down here. Kind of skulking around. The graceful cave climbing exploits <laughs> of Alex. But that wasn't the only challenging aspect of filming the cave tour, right, Anna? You're right, the cave did have, uh, just inherently had a number of challenges. The three of us were all climbing, and so we all have to use our hands and feet, including Sergio, our videographer. So he had one camera, uh, he could, we could only bring one light as well. Um, we had headlamps too. Uh, they're pretty rudimentary, I mean, very, you know, like a spotlight kind of thing. The camera needs to be able to see uh, your subject. Um, and so when you're in a, an environment like a cave and that cave it gets like true darkness to the point where night vision goggles will not work and the other thing is the cave is actually quite warm um it maintains the same temperature year round you know we were going from the outside where it was like minus 20 into the cave where it was you know plus five i think uh so that was quite a pleasant uh, experience for us to get into that you know warmer environment but for the camera and the lens, again, it's starting to fog up, uh, you know, much like people's glasses do when they go into a warmer environment from a colder environment. So again, you know, getting that imagery uh, is challenging. I have to admit though, it was really nice to get into the warmer, relatively warm cave um, because we didn't always have that luxury. I certainly remember the cold and especially when we we're on top of Sulphur Mountain filming Night Rise. It was easily the coldest day of the trip. It was at night, there was no protection from the elements and the wind was howling. And I don't recall you being out there too long. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I believe that there was some producing that had to happen on the inside. Um, but you know, Alex, I'm surprised you were so cold out there. Didn't working with us warm your heart? <laughs> yes, of course. And although it was cold out, I, no, we 
as a team had the most incredible experience and we're so excited to share it with all of you at home.